So today we're riding the BMW S1000R. First thing, the mirrors well, ain't too bad, but they're quite stiff to adjust. But yeah, anyway, S1000 single R first ride. So, reason I do these first rides is so you guys can get an idea of what these bikes would be like if you were to now jump on one and and take one out. So I've done a few of these now. I've done the Suzuki. Uh, GSX-S1000 and the Kawasaki Z1000, so go check them out, I'll stick a link in the description. Um, but I've been wanting to do this one for a while, people tell me it's an absolute beast, so um, I want to see if they're, they're telling the truth. So this has got a few more a few more features than, than the other two super nakeds that I've ridden. This has got a quick shifter, up shift only, not down shift. It's also got, uh, this is the sports one, so this one's got the dynamic dynamic suspension which adjusts on the fly and um, it's got the traction control, wheelie control, um, ABS, BMW's ABS system. So yeah, it's got a few more technical technical bits and pieces than the others. It's also a bit more expensive than the other two. But this one's probably up in a bit more of a com competition with uh, the Yamaha MC10, maybe the Super, Super Duke KTM. It's got an Akrapovich pipe on this one, so we'll see what that's like. And the first thing I think we're going to try is the wind buffering, because we're now going to hit a little bit of dual carriageway. I will say these mirrors vibrate quite a lot. Can't see very much behind me at all. So so far, I'm not a great fan of the mirrors. Pipe sounds lovely. And there's a fair amount of engine braking. So yeah, obviously you can put a touring screen on these to help with the wind buffeting, but we're gonna try it out as standard, see what it's like. This thing's got heated grips as well, which I need to work out how to turn on because it's getting colder here in the UK. So I'm interested to see what this this uh, quick shift is like, and also the power of this bike because this has got more power than the others that I've tested as well. It's 160 brake horsepower. The engine from the S1000 Double R BMW Superbike and um, toned down from whatever they're at, 190 brake to, to 160. So it's, still, it's gonna have a lot of power, but it's got a lot of uh, electronics to keep that power in check a bit as well, so. So the wind buffeting, I hope you can hear me. The wind buffeting's quite extreme on this one. I think it's got a bit more tendency to, to pick up the wind than what the Suzuki and the Kawasaki did. I don't know what its top speed is, but I don't think I'd want to take it that far, definitely not. It's got a lot of wind buffering. If I had this bike, I would definitely put a touring screen on it. I like the quick shifter though, it's impressive. I'm not used to it yet. I was uh, wanting to, to use the clutch there. I've got a funny feeling we're going to get a little bit of moisture and then we'll be able to to check out that rain mode so let's change the modes on this thing mode road dynamic right i believe dynamic is full power so we'll leave that on i don't know what that button does heated grips right okay so we've got our heated grips on stage two which is Maximum, I believe. Rain, road, dynamic, right? So dynamic, yeah. 
I don't know why rear is flashing, but I forgot dynamic. This, this bike also comes with cruise control. This one doesn't have it on there. Because you can get a lot of different options for this bike. This one doesn't have the cruise control, unfortunately. So we can't try that out, but I hear it's quite a good system. Oh, I can feel them heated grips starting to warm up, which is useful because it's bloody freezing. And that cruise control would be a godsend right now. Even in sixth gear, this thing just pulls and pulls. I did read that the clutch was really far out on these, which it is actually, it's right at the end of my reach. So this one's in red, they do this in a, a black, a red, and a white. Personally, I think my favorite color is either the red or the white, probably the white. I like all the colors, but this, this bike looks amazing, especially with that wonky eye thing that BMW do at the front there. I think it looks pretty incredible. This is also quite a short bike, so you'll probably notice there. There's a bit of a pattern occurring here with these low seat heights. So uh, it's quite a comfy bike. The seat is not as soft as what the Suzuki GSX-S seat is, but it's a bit more aggressive as well, so I guess I wouldn't expect it to be. But it is comfortable. Um, the foot pegs are quite high. I'm guessing that's to for its track side of side of its life, you know, if you're going to take it on a track, the foot pegs probably want to be a bit higher. Um, the bars don't feel quite as wide, but again, I think that's because it's a bit more aggressive than the other bikes or the other super naked that I've ridden. But I think you could ride this bike quite a long distance. But like I said, only if you uh, did something to try and fix that wind buffer. And I'm sure that car behind me, the bike just fell off the roof, and that's why he's indicating started into that lay-by but I can't see because the mirror is shaking around all over the place so I can't even see what I'm looking at that's a real bugbear it's not very often I pull something apart but that is shite I love the dash I love this half digital half old school tack thing Let's see what the brakes are like on this because obviously it's got ABS lots of bite really nice feels solid give you a lot of um, confidence I think they're Brembo's don't hold me to that I'm pretty sure they're Brembo so we're gonna do a few more interesting roads now test out the handling the brakes and the power all in one With a bit of luck some quite nice windy roads up here the bikes in its dynamic mode and um, this comes with Pirelli Diablo Rosso tires on I believe so they should be quite sticky trying to get used to the handling front end a lot of feedback but at corners a lot different to other bikes I've ridden. Wow, stable in a corner. Very good quick shifter system, that is on the money. Accurate, does what you want it to do when you want it to do it. This thing pulls like a fucking train. And you can tell that the electronics are aiding you. I don't know to what degree, but you can tell there's something helping you there. Like opening it up in second with a little bit of lean, the gyros are measuring how much power they can give you all the time. And you can kind of tell. Dampening control, normal, okay. Hard, soft. I'll leave it on normal because I've got a clue what I'm doing with it. Oh. Lovely little trump from the exhaust. It's a verdict so far. This thing looks incredible. Sounds incredible because it's got an aquaponic exhaust, so that obviously helps. Um, is is amazingly fast. The suspension seems really good. I don't know whether that's because it's, they've got the dynamic on there. But yeah, it's impressive so far. I like it. Things I don't like. Seats may be a little bit, a little bit harder, but it's not a, a don't like. It's a neutral. Um, I don't like the mirrors. That's a, that's a definite no. Don't like that at all. Oh, it's hard to find neutral when you're sitting stationary. Flicking it side to side, it comes up and goes over the other way quite quick as well. You can tell it's. Um, got a track side to it. I don't know whether that wheelie control is cutting in, but it, 
doesn't really let the front come up very far. Did that time. So yeah, I've got this bike, it's a demo bike from BMW Lind Motorrad in Norwich in the UK. So big thanks to them. I'll stick a link to their website in the description. If you're liking these first rides that I'm doing, then hit that subscribe button and let me know. There's a lot of other things planned, so I want to do the MT10 and um, the plans there for that, but also the maybe like the R1 and a few super bikes as well. If your hands are cold, or your head or your feet, the rest of you feels cold. And with these heated grips, it takes that chill away. Performance wise, this is by far the best super naked that I've ridden yet. Finding first gear at uh, neutral on this bike stationary seems to be a bit more difficult. So let's stop and have a look at that. What an incredible looking bike. Obviously the one you buy is not going to say demonstrate or Lind Motor Red on the side because this is their bike. Um, but yeah I love this. This little freaky eye thing that they got going on on their, their R bikes. I think it looks pretty incredible. Really like these little indicators as well. They're nice. You need some shorty levers and some different mirrors but other than that the front's really tidy. You've got the Brembo monoblock ABS brakes work great and I just love that super naked look and the way that back bit goes up really sharp looks amazing obviously you're going to lose that tail tidy like you do on every other bike um, I think this is an option with BM to put this Akrapovich exhaust on sounds really good looks really good tidies that bit of the bike up the normal exhaust is like a little trumpet but I'll tell you what would make it look even better if you uh, had the rear sets powder coated maybe lost them and uh, put a tail tidy on it but yeah it looks amazing really like the look of it there's these little sort of fins up here look great really sharp at the back this way they do this little light looks incredible not sure I'd want to be a passenger on there but yeah you can see the quick shifter here, this is a quick shifter system works great too love it in red, they do it in black and white I think it looks really nice in red anyway, enough of looking at it, let's do some more riding oh I better let you hear it because it sounds insane hopefully there's no one I'm going to disturb it's got this little pop Sounds absolutely incredible. There's no baffle in that. So yeah, sounds amazing. So that little pop. I think I've annoyed that bloke over there, so we better run away really quickly, which this thing is more than capable of doing. I've ridden the uh, the Fireblade, and that's the only thousand Super Sport that I've ridden. And this thing is scarier than that. So yeah, handling's great, performance is great. Suspension. I don't know what to think of the suspension. I mean, I don't know what it's doing. It's doing some technological shit in the background that is obviously working really well because I'm comfortable and it must make it harder when it needs to be harder. So it's obviously working. I know you don't have to have the dynamic thing you don't have to have that I think it's an option so depends if you want it so yeah pros looks great it's fast it's comfortable it's everything you want a super naked to be it's, it's got that hooligan factor massively um, technology because everyone's going along the electronics route now it's got all that as well it's got a great technology electronics package whatever you want to call it um, and now it started to rain. Awesome. It's only spitting a little. We have a little bit of moisture. So if it really starts to come down, we'll get to try that rain mode. See, it found neutral a lot easier this time, so I don't know. I don't know why it didn't the first few times I tried it. Now we've got a little bit of moisture. So I think I'm going to turn it on to rain mode. I know it limits the power. But we're going to try it. I'm assuming this thing's still going to be really powerful anyway, but 
I'm assuming it's going to give us maybe 80% of the power that it has available. You can tell the power is limited, I'd say 80% in rain mode. It's still got a lot, but it's going to adjust the traction control so it doesn't give you as much power to spin up that rear wheel as well. So it should, in a rain mode, it should be a lot safer so you're not going to high side with a bit of luck. I hope you guys can still see as it's absolutely pissing it down. Thank God for those heated grips. <laughs> they can't deflect rain, but they don't have to make your hands fucking warm. So if you want to see this a little bit comfortier, BMW do the comfort seat for this bike. So on these longer runs, you can have a little bit more comfort. That dynamic suspension, I've read a few reviews on this bike where people say it doesn't do that much. I disagree. I've hit some of these bumps on other bikes because I do these roads quite often and it shakes your fucking teeth out. But on this bike, it's actually quite nice. I think it does a really good job. We're going to do a little bit of townie riding because I've got to put a little bit of fuel in this. The throttle's really sensitive. It's got that little bit of play like a lot of these modern fly-by-wire systems, but seems good enough. No. Wrong one. I'm just playing with you. Right. Put a bit of sex juice in. Let's take this back. We have a squeaky front brake. I'm going to assume that because it rained, it's picked up a little bit of grit and got in there, something like that. One thing you do notice when you're doing a little bit of, shall we say, town city riding, is um, there's quite a lot of heat come out from the left hand side. It's not going to be dangerous or burn you or anything like that, but you can definitely notice there's quite a lot of heat. So, to summarise, the BMW S1000R Sport 2016, I think it is very fast. If you're looking for a fast Super Naked, this thing is at the top there with the other, maybe the, the Super Duke and the, the MT10. It's extremely quick, sounds amazing, looks amazing, handles like an absolute dream. It's got a great electronics package. The only thing I don't like about it is their mirrors, but at the end of the day, they're changeable. So I give it a massive 10 out of 10. So we're back at BMW. If you've enjoyed this first ride, let me know, subscribe to the channel and smash the shit out of that like button. Share the video as well because that helps me massively. And uh, go check out, oh that's nice, go check out my other, my other first rides. That is really nice. And I'll see you guys in the next one.